This is the Avery XS100 labeling scale and we're going to see how to add a new product or PLU to the scale. So the first thing you do is you go into manager mode so we press the red power button at the top once and when the eight show we press the red enter button on the right and that takes us to the secure login screen it defaults to operator ID 1 so we'll press enter to that one and the default pin for operator ID 1 is 4296 and then we press the red enter button to that one and that takes us into the manager mode menu with various options there now anything to do with products and prices is under option 1 which is system data so we'll press enter while that's highlighted and then again products is option 1 so we'll press enter to that one the red enter button and then you can either just change the price of an existing item or in the case of what we want to do option 2 we're going to create and edit a new PLU so I'll press option number 2 and the first thing it wants is to choose a department so in this case I've only got uh, one department set up so I'll just choose that department 0 and then it's asking me for a PLU number so I'm going to enter PLU number 10 and it creates that new PLU on the scale and then it's asking me to choose a label format so your label format uh, will determine what content appears on the printed label so if you want barcodes and logos and things there's different label formats set up so in this case my scale already been set up with label 8 so I'm going to choose that one and press enter and then the next thing it's asking you for is the display text so I will type in uh, the name of this product so in this case I'll type in uh, chicken wings and that's what will display on the scale when you choose that product so I'll press enter to that one and then the next item is the description that will print on the label now that defaults to the same as a screen description but you can change the size of that if you want to make it bigger or smaller so using the left arrow key I'll just scroll to the beginning of that description and then if you look at the bottom left uh, there's a 3x key you can press that one and you type in a size which ranges from 1 to 9 and a to x x being the largest and 1 being the smallest so I'll choose size f which is a reasonably large size and you can see the rest of the text is still there, I'll press enter to that one. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we can type in text 2, and that could be ingredients, it could be storage, it could be allergy information and so on. So I'll just type in some dummy text, ingredients, and just for the purpose of this exercise I'll just type in A, B, C, D, E. And I'll press the red enter button to that one. And then there's a further field you can add in as well, which is text 3. Again, you can have supplementary information to print on the label, as long as your label format supports it that you've chosen. So we'll skip past that one. And then if you're using the scale as a register, then you can put in the VAT rate for this product, so we'll skip past that. If you've got lots of products, you can group them, so we'll skip past that. And then the product can either be sold by weight or it can be sold by quantity. So most products, in, in the case of these uh, chicken wings, we're going to sell them by weight. So I'll press enter to option number one. And then I can type in the price per kilo. So I will type in £8.50, and that will be per kilo price of that product. Uh, I'm not going to use promotions. The base price is the same as the price per kilo. Uh, I'm not going to use the tear facility or propriety tray. I'm not going to use any date functions for this product. So I'll skip past those no sales text uh, you can have a logo printed on the label if you want to either specific to the product or to your shop or related to a promotion or something that you're running so we'll skip past that one and then if you're going to use the label at until then obviously you need to enable the barcode so I'll choose option 2 enable barcode and I'll choose the default uh, format there Press enter to that one. I don't want to print traceability information, but you could enable and set that up if you wanted to. Uh, same with the nutritional information as well. And then you can assign one of these hotkeys if it's a popular product as well. So once you've done all that, you press the green tick button and that stores uh, the product onto the scale. 
So you press home once, twice, and that takes you back to sales mode. You can then put your chicken wings on the scale, enter PLU number 10, and then press the yellow print button, and it will print the label for you with the description, the supplementary text, the price and the barcode and so on.